If you have been following the FM Area Diversion Project, you have likely heard the acronym P3 used. You may have even heard the full term, Public-Private Partnership. But unless you've been closely involved in a P3 project, you may not be familiar with how one works. I'm Joel Paulson, the Executive Director for the Metro Flood Diversion Authority, and I'll break it down for you in this video. At its core, the concept is relatively simple. A public entity and a private entity partner to build something. But what makes a P3 different than any other construction contract? In short, it's an agreement that pairs a contractor and engineer together on the same team to construct infrastructure projects faster and maintain these projects, which also saves money. Constructing the diversion without the P3 would have taken about 16 years to complete. With the P3, that timeline is condensed to just six years and construction will cost roughly $270 million less. While the P3 concept has been around since the 1100s, the FM Area Diversion Project team is breaking new ground, literally and figuratively. The Metro Flood Diversion Authority is a permanent North Dakota political subdivision. That makes us the public partner. The Red River Valley Alliance, a special purpose corporate entity comprised of three highly experienced corporations, is the private partner. As the private entity, they will design, build, finance, operate, and maintain the 30-mile-long stormwater diversion channel as well as some of the necessary infrastructure that goes with it, including railroad crossings, inlets, outlets, road crossings, and aqueducts. As the public entity, we oversee our RVA and we pay them when they achieve certain milestones. That means the private entity takes on the risk since it doesn't get paid until work is completed. This partnership also gives us the advantage of incorporating the experience of three internationally renowned corporations into the design, which often means more advanced innovations can be incorporated into the project. Another advantage of this partnership is that RRVA must maintain everything that they construct for 30 years. Once this period is complete, then they will hand it over to us in accordance with the contract standards. This helps ensure a quality product is built and maintained as part of this partnership. When the Red River Valley Alliance broke ground on the diversion channel in August of 2022, it marked more than the start of construction. It also was the initial dirt moved on the first ever P3 project in cooperation with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Just as notable, it's the first P3 flood management project across all of North America. The world is closely watching these firsts, and so far they have been impressed with what they've seen. The project has already won about a dozen awards. That's not what really matters though, getting permanent, reliable flood protection sooner rather than later and for less expense is what's most important. For all of us who have filled endless sandbags and fought to save our community from the rising Red River. Having flood protection in 2027 rather than 2037 will be a huge relief. If you would like to dive deeper into P3s, head to fmdiversion.gov and search public-private partnerships for more resources.